Hello once again my friends, welcome back to another part of building the Olympic as I stare at the Titanic and gaze in all its beauty. But I'm afraid that's not what we're here for today. Okay, so as I today's build brought to you myself, I am going to be continuing the build on the Olympic. I can't stop looking at it. It's too beautiful. <laughs> So, okay, my friends, so today we are going to do another continuing the build. As I say, we did the world deck on the last part. But I thought we'd do something different today. Because I had to spruce up a little bit. We are going to start in the guts of the ship. We're going to start the boiler rooms. So what you'll need to do, as I make my way down to the stern of the ship, or the midships here, as that indicate by this line, as midship is the case, it's the middle of the ship. Which is basically frame zero. You need to go to frame 30 towards the sterns, which is heading that way. So I still got all my main panels down here. So if you make your way down. Now I have cheated a little bit. I have made some markers already. Okay, so I apologize for that. But here we are, frame number 30. Okay, this is the start of boiler room number one to the right. To the left is the engine rooms. Okay, so get yourself some orange concrete. Lay down one stop, which I've already done, so I block, and go up nine high. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And from the top, make your way right across. Okay. Which joins us. I mean, you can remove the white quartz slab, join it up, because this is basically the back wall. This is going to be the wall between boiler room number one. Boiler room number one contained five boilers, and the wall behind it is two... Um, Recuperating engine rooms, is that that's how you say it? It's the two large, you know, three story houses engines. I'll probably have to look up again, but as I say, yep, just go nine up and go straight to the end. And on top of that, get a light grey concrete, put a row on top. Okay, same again, you can move the quartz, add it all up. Now, this needs to go right to the top. So, as you can see, you've got one, two, three, four. These four grey, uh, dark grey concrete lines marked in. So we are going to go right to the top here to where the smooth stone is. And this is the whole height of the boiler room. Okay. So what we could do here. I mean, I I put these grey concrete lines in just to get a perspective of how tall these, these build is. But you don't have to put it in. But you can get the uh, dark grey concrete and build it right across towards the centre. And to help yourselves, get a different block. Um, as I say, add a quartz or a different color, any color you want, so you don't lose where you are in the center of the ship. Okay. Right. So what you'll need to do now is I'm going down to lay the bases of the boiler rooms, but I'm just going to lay another row of orange concrete here. Because you'll have to fill all this in later. Okay. I remove the quartz stairs there and the quartz blocks there. So you'll just have to fill this all in. Okay, it's a one flat wall as well. There's no coal bunkers in between the boiler room number one and the engine room. It's just one straight wall. Okay, let's go right across here. Okay, so I'll fill it in later during a jump cut. So I'm going to move on to the the bases of the boilers. Now, like I said, there were five boilers. Also, you're only going to see the bases for two and a half here. Okay, so I'll use blocks of quartz for the base. Now I have done a video of how I made my boiler so I'm just going to do the bases on where to locate them. Okay but I will leave a link in the description below and also a picture of the actual part there. Basic to say, to say you know this is how you have to build the boiler so I will be doing a lot of jump cuts in this video. Okay so the first base okay you need to go to frame number 29 which is basically one in from 30. I put a light grey concrete down there. Now go out by at least nine. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Now on the other side, you need to go to frame 25. Go yep, put light grey concrete down there and go up again by nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And then you just join it up. So that's basically half a base there. Okay. Now the next bit is go right to the end here. Basically two in from the quartz 
there. Put our zero quarters down there and go in again towards this centre by nine. That's one. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put yourself down a light con grey concrete there and do another nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go. Now you need to go back to frame 29 again, but on this side, once again, two in from here. So that's one, two. Ignore that quartz stairs. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put a light grey concrete there. Or any other cover you like, but I always use light grey. And do another nine. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And join it up. There we go. And there we go there. Okay. And just one more base to go. So come back to frame. We'll go from frame 29 again. So from this corner here, go two to the left. That's one, two, one more, one block there. And then do another nine. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Light grey concrete. And your quartz again or any colour you want. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you've got two gap there. And same again on the other side. Two in a gap of two. Put a block down there. So that's one, two, three, four. Huh, four. So I'll start again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Light grey concrete. And back to the quartz. All the way across there. And join them up. So it's pretty much symmetry for the other side. Like I say, I'm only building half the ship. Which is going to be quite difficult actually because I noticed the passageways, the water type bulkhead doors. There was one in the centre here, but the rest are a bit more towards the port side, the starboard side. As I say, I'm doing the port side here. So that'll be a bit tricky, but I'll find a way around it. But like I say, I'm just doing the layout so far. So those are your, well, two and a half bases. But going straight across the ship, you should now have five. So we're going to close off this boiler room with another orange concrete. And you need to go to number 22. Okay, so it's this one here. Oh, sorry, I apologise, got that wrong. It is number... Let me put this right. Yeah, frame 30, and then we'll go straight across to... Bit. Where have I gone wrong here? I've gone wrong somewhere. Wouldn't it be the same? Okay, spend one second, guys. Ah, there we go, got that. Ah, I think I need to go back to spec savers here. There's 22. Yeah, it's 22. Frame number 22. There you go. One block down. Okay, orange concrete. And put it straight across. Okay, so this is the wall between the coal bunker and boiler room 1. Yeah, it reminds me of that because I put a lump of coal there. <laughs> so you now need to go to frame 18. Which is this one here. Once again. Straight across. Put that one there. Remove the stairs and also remove the quartz. Okay. And to finish off, you need to go to frame number 15. Orange concrete again. Which is right here. And just go straight across. There we go. Put your block there and with the quartz there okay so i'll look down now give a bird's eye view of perspective here so here where i'm looking is bowling room number one to here this is coal bunker we'll call it coal bunker number one and this is coal bunker number two and you just got to imagine here there will be a passageway from between the boiler rooms okay so what you have to do now is exactly the same as this wall you need to go nine high. That's one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'll pull it right across. Get to the end. And so forth and so forth. So you do the same for these these two lines as well. Okay. Okay, I'm back, folks. I'm sorry, the recording went over 10 minutes again. 
Okay, so I'm just going to go back to explain again what we need to do now in this part. Okay, so in each of these orange roll walls, you need to go nine high. There you go. Put it right across. So that's that cold bunker done. And the same for here. This is on frame number 15. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There you go. Put that right across. go and on top of course just get your grey concrete light grey should I say just pull it straight to the top because this is the height of the walls there you go and the same for these two walls as well and you just need to fill it all in just the walls now what we're going to do now as well before I do the jump cut is you need to get some slabs any color slabs you want because we put some like cotton floor on the top of it as well to give the effect because i've got the steampunk steam, steampunk skin pack it gives it a nice texture color floor but what i use here is a polished and you know i don't know if i'm saying this right polished andesite slab or whatever it is or any slab and all you need to do is fill in the floor between each frame just on the top section like that Okay. Fill it all in. And so far and so far. But when you come to the boilers, you don't have to fill this section in here. You can just go around it. Around the bases. Like that. Okay. So, I'm going to do a jump cup now. So I'm going to show you the floor filled in when I come back. From the boiler room number one and the two coal bunkers, and I'm filling in the walls as well. So, I will be right back, folks. Okay, folks, as you fill in the wall in, you should end up with something like this and the floor as well. Okay, so there is there are a few design changes which I'm going to add now, which I'll show you to as well. So when you fill in the two coal bunkers here, okay. Now when you get up to let's see the one, two, third go third line from the bottom here you need to go rather than going straight up line you need to go in by one up by three and then the next step is up by three then up by three and then a one so you should finish under frame 21 so you start at frame 20 and then you go across the 21 sorry frame tw ugh, 22 start again frame 22 and you make your way to frame 21 and then you fill it in with just grey concrete going straight across or anything else you like because this coal bunker as you look at the profile and the designs curved inwards and also once we finished the boilers it was the uh, the chute that led up to the uh, the chimney not chimney smoke stack funnel <laughs> all sorts of words now that's that design there and the other side you start off on frame number 15 course I started to put the numbers now so I don't lose count you go in one up two then one again up two then a one then a two going up two then a single and then a two and um, once you get to the top you just go in one there which is this block here that block there which is already there okay and also the roof of the coal bunkers okay you could just fill in with a slab so I'll show you there okay and add a little detail as well on the inside of course I had to put sea lanterns in because it was getting totally dark and I couldn't see a thing but you could, this is where you put a little cosmetics for the design here which I'll show you on the other side in the boiler room you get buttons uh, it's just to show like the rivets of the ship so you put one there one there one there one there one there one there it's just there, give it a little feature rather than just a blank wall. And you work your way all the way up top, but I miss out the grey concrete line to keep that smooth. So, you can work your way all the way up to the top. It's just to give it a little bit, you know, it's rather than a boring wall, make it look like a proper steel ship. Okay, so add all them there. 
uh, make your way all the way up to the top. I mean, you will have to do... I mean, you don't have to do this, but... It's just a little something I wanted to put in. It's just to make it a bit more like a ship. Okay. Now, the next stage... So, I'll just finish off there. Now, I am going to do the boilers now. Now, I've already done a video on how to build the boilers. So, I'm just going to put, like, a screenshot or the link as well in the description. Leave it on the screen here so you can see which one it is in my videos. Okay, so I will do a jump cut in a moment, but the next stage you can do, you can get a block of coal. Now, another thing about the Olympic, obviously she was built in 1911, or started in 1909 to 1911, she was a coal burning ship. But after the war, she was converted to oil. So, I mean, it's entirely your choice, but for the purposes of it, I've only got the deck plans and design plans from 1911. For the Olympic and the Titanic, which is what this built on, so I'm going to keep at it as a coal burning ship. I mean, there are design features of the ship as well. I mean, uh, I've got oh, I've got nice comments here in the uh, couple of my videos now about these the cinema and the green staircase, and as well as so lots of link things I'm learning new. But for the purpose of this build, I'm going to keep to the 1911 spec. But I might be a bit random, a variety. At the end of the day, it's just a build. You can do the ship however you want. This is just the design basis. Okay? So, you just get your block of coal. And also, you have to fill it all in. But obviously, to save time, we'll just create a little mirage. I mean, you don't have to go right to the top. You just fill it in there. And also, fill it in all the way to the back. It's absolute so complete darkness now. Can't see where I'm going. Get all the way there and then just bring it across and bring it all the way back to the front and all you do is fill the top and fill the side so I'll fill this all the way up here which I'm not going to do now because the, the video will be too long again which I'm trying to save time and cut down because I do feel like my videos are a bit too long if that's how you feel about them I mean would you like shorter quick videos or would you like long hours listening to my boring voice? <laughs> Which I'm from the northwest in England, by the way. Lancashire accent. But like I sound like a farmer. Okay. So, as I say, you just fill in the front, fill in the top. And what I'm going to do now is do a jump cut. Okay, folks, there you go. I filled in the coal bunkers right to the top, well, not all the way to the top. And I put the boilers in as well. So, yep, yeah, I'll give you a quick tour. I've also put down black carpet. I mean, I've got the steampunk pack, skin pack, and obviously it gives this sort of effect on the floor, which I think looks quite nice. So, if you've got black carpet, you can fill in all the bottom. Power up to you. Uh, but just fill in all the areas around the bunkers, uh, the boilers, around the back, of course, around the sides as well. Make sure all the floor is filling. I still need to do the um, coal bunker entrances as well for where to get the coal from, but I'm going to have to leave that for another one because I do want them to move up and down, which I think they did. I'm not too certain. And of course, as well, I'll need to do a demonstration as well where the corridor goes from boiler room one boiler room too because I've done the port side and the doors were on the starboard side so you got to imagine complete wall here it's like sort of a door here and the rest of the wall are on here as well so I will do as do boiler room two and three in the next videos so like I said this was just a one-off video I just wanted to get the ship's frames a bit of a rest I mean you don't have to do this straight away you can come back to this as well if you want to but it's just been taking so long to do the front ship's frames, especially the bow, because it is a very tricky part of the ship. The stern is just as bad. But we are getting there. But I just wanted to show um, basically what the boilers look like. Again, like I say in my previous video of how to build the boilers, I will leave the link in the description. And if, like I say, I just wanted to fit in the first boiler room. So there should be five boilers in total in boiler room number one 
Alright folks, like I say, it was just a bit of a quick video. Uh, well, I hope it was quick. But as usual, you know, if you like what you see and if you want to use it as a downloadable, downloadable project or to be used in your own YouTube videos, please feel free. And all I appreciate really is that you give me a shout out on my channel and I would like to see them as well. So if you can send me a link or anything like that if you are building them on YouTube. Um, I do have a Facebook uh, page, which is on my channel. There's a link there as well. If you want to send me a, a message, by all means. Uh, but like I say, you know, I just want to thank everyone today. I appreciate you watching this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, please leave leave a like and give us a subscribe. Uh, so you keep up to date with all the latest going on in this YouTube Titanic Olympic build. But like I said before, uh, I am doing the cold bunk cold version of the Olympic. Like I say, later on in life, she was converted into an oil ship. Because I'm being honest, I've only got the deck plants uh, from 1911 onwards. So a special thank you to all the current subscribers. And it means a lot to me to help this channel grow. It does mean a lot. Uh, but also as well, uh, our next couple of videos will be focused on the bow. I'm going to get the bow finished. But like I said, I just wanted to do this quick video. There's something else to do. Because I think those uh, frames were starting to get to me <laughs> but hey it was nice to do something else for a little change but like I say if you do like it by all means give it a like if you consider subscribing to the channel please please do so uh, but I do like to see what people's builds if you've got your own YouTube videos but you can send me a link in yours and uh, you know, I like to watch other people's builds but apart from that I'm going to call it a day now for this video guys so as, as always this is only Junction I bid you all a very good farewell. Goodbye.